Hi Internet, Merry Christmas. This tutorial is about how to rig grease pencil objects. We'll address both 2D and 3D drawings. It's a basic tutorial covering the use of vertex groups and constraints. We'll be making a squishy face rig. Here is a sideways face. No one in particular. Let's add an armature. Switch to edit mode by either using the drop down menu or via tab. Then position the bone roughly covering the entirety of the drawing. This bone is going to be a deformation bone, meaning it's going to deform the mesh, or drawing in this case. And at the tip of it I'll add a control bone. Control bones are what animators end up using to manipulate the rig. Now rename the bones. Naming is very important in rigging. Once that's done, exit into object mode. Then by selecting the grease pencil object first and shift selecting the armature second, parent the object with control P with empty groups. That'll create unassigned vertex groups for all bones in the armature. They'll be visible in the properties window under grease pencil options. With that, enter into edit mode in the grease pencil, select all points and assign selection to the deformation bone. Now when the bone is moved in pose mode, it moves the drawing with it. That is the basics of how to assign a drawing to an armature. To make the face stretch, go into pose mode. Select this guy first, shift select the deform bone second, and attach damped track constraint by pressing Control shift c That'll make the bone follow this one's movements. Add another constraint with the same procedure, except this time make it a stretch to constraint. Now the face is squishy. Finally, just move the deform bone to another layer by hitting M. It's now ready to be animated. As a follow-up, it is possible to rig drawings in 3D space also. I think we'll see this much more as Blender adds VR functionality to the grease pencil as has been shown in the Blender conference this year, or last year depending on when you're watching this. I'll link the video in the description, it's well worth a watch, and real great work from all the developers slash artists involved. Here's a basic pendulum sketch. The only difference on this drawing is that it's spread over several layers to make selecting all things much easier. The same process can be applied though, adding an armature and placing bones where they're best suited, then renaming all bones and parenting the object to an armature. Then it can be readily animated in 3D space. Best wishes and a happy new year.